morning. Today is Tuesday and we are going to be working on that wall that we poured last week at the museum. We are going to be cladding it with stone. Um, so first thing I have to do is I'm gonna grab some of these blocks here because we're gonna make a column on the end. So I'm gonna need these blocks to build it up and then set the column on top of them. Uh, Ethan is running to grab the mortar and some concrete for a little paver area that we did yesterday on Monday. There wasn't much that we were doing yesterday, so I didn't even bother recording anything. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get to it. I forgot I left that thing there. Patron. Ready? Hi. How's it going? You ready? You ready? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Sir, sir. All <laughs> screws. Like the one you use with the pneumatic gun? Yeah. Throw, throw, throw. I'm gonna cut them all off. Alright. We just destroyed this little shell because it was already falling apart. So now I'm just going to cut off all these uh, tap cons here. Oh, that shell's coming off. Careful, careful, careful. Gotta be careful. Oh, geez. Hit those. 
I already took them all out. Oh, yeah. Well, the ones that came out, all the other ones just broke. Oh. The tips just corroded right off of them. So there's no tips holding them, man. It's just got to pull it out kind of straight. And it should come out. Bada bing, bada boom. So the concrete got concrete blocks. A couple of them got cut wrong, so I gotta go get some more from the house. Jose said he needs two more. That means I'll grab three more. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Just drop the wall off, wall block. Now I'm going to. Oh, come on. Don't even tell me, dude. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, no way we don't have any Visqueen left. Well, we gotta put some Visqueen down before we start putting our mortar scratch on the wall. We gotta put mortar on the wall, scratch it with the trowels, and we gotta let that dry overnight, 24 hours, until we come back tomorrow, and then we can start the cladding process with the stones, and the seashells, and the marbles, and the whole art project. So, gotta put this visqueen down so we don't make a mess everywhere. Take the cover off. What is it? Uh oh. You can hear it once to grab, but the clutches aren't pushing all the way out to grab. I'm gonna take it home with us tonight. You got another saw? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, my saw's at the house. Oh. <laughs> Always I have it too. Two saws, two wheelbarrows. To Too women. women. To women. So we talk to each other. Yeah. Same each time. Other same time. Send the message the same time. <laughs> Copy and paste. Yes. And the text message. Credit is like more fat. Yesterday. That means you're eating good. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, we gotta, we're gonna put a rebar. I got a piece of rebar. Right yeah. yeah. That that but for that I wanna we gotta drill a hole in the bottom of that so that when we set it on it the rebar goes through the column too. Oh okay. that's what the rebar is for.
So during this part, we are doing the scratch coating. Well, I'm doing all the scratch coating. Jose has never done a veneer stone before. I've only done it on a couple mailboxes in the past. They were just center block mailboxes, and then I mortared them and put veneer stone on. But a part of the process is you have to let this stuff dry for 24 hours, the scratch code, the mortar, and then you come and you do your veneer stone on top of it. You use the same mortar for both, but you want the scratch code to dry because it'll help the mortar stick to uh, the concrete rather than just being a flat surface concrete. Juan by Juan. Juan. Some jokes. Another part of the process is you always want to wet down the concrete before you apply the mortar. It'll help the mortar stick to the concrete. And the mortar dries pretty fast in the wheelbarrow, so you want to make sure you kind of keep wetting it down. You definitely don't want to over wet it, but wetting it down. Uh, it's not a big deal if it's a little more moist whenever you're just doing your scratch coating, but whenever you start applying your veneer stone, you'll notice if it's too wet that the stone will start sliding down the wall, so it kind of has to be perfect whenever you're doing your stone. You want to make sure you get that mortar mix down right, and uh, other than that, there's not much to it. What was she looking at? I want to cut a little bit right here. So you, you cannot see this home like this. Ah. Uh, put it this side. Nice. Nice. Got this whole side of the wall done. Started working on the other side. Yep.
same size. Yeah. We matching. Hey, don't mix anymore. You, there's enough. Look at that. That's a rock. Oh. A little deeper. A little deeper? Yeah. Like farther away? Yeah. Sorry. This is the top scratch coat. It's funny, I almost forgot to do this. I started cleaning off all the hand tools and then Ethan reminded me we gotta do the top too. So, same thing as the sides. Keep that trail over here. I'm gonna scoop some of this off to you. Come on this side. I don't want to do it. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it tonight. We're gonna have to put it back down tomorrow if we pick it up. And we don't have a lot left. <laughs>